Lesson three, begin with the end in mind. Stephen Covey also introduced this collection of words to me, although the concept is hardly new. Again, the idea is simple. In business, with every challenge or decision, you assess the situation, draw conclusions, create planning implications, and establish a set of objectives, strategies, and tactics. Then you move to implementation, after you have a well-thought-out plan. In my opinion, it should be no different when you are charting your life journey in the world of business. In the business arena, it is very helpful to reflect on the end you have in mind. What type of contributor do you want to be? What are the governing themes for your contribution profile? What's your plan? What would your mentor say? These are important questions that need to be asked, and even more importantly, answered. Personally, I have found that this process of self-examination has been extremely helpful to me. It has helped keep me anchored in some fairly treacherous waters of decision-making. I have also found it helpful to write down my thoughts in a personal mission statement. As part of the process, I've identified five areas in my life where I need to feel grounded in order to sustainably operate at peak performance. They include my family, my work, my faith, my community, and my own personal well-being. Every month or so, I reflect on how I'm feeling in each of these five areas. And I know that if I feel myself drifting in any one area, that I need to pay attention to it and soon. Experience has taught me that all five areas, to one degree or another, need to be operating in harmony with one another for me to be happy, fulfilled, and most productive in an enduring way. Also, every year I try to take time by myself to reflect on my mission and to find ways to enhance it. So, empower yourself, choose to influence with honor, and begin with the end in mind.